Johnny's Cheap, so we're downtown just a couple blocks off Fremont Street. Mrs. Cheap and I have wanted to go here for years. We're finally making it. The famed Mob Museum, or the National Museum of Organized Crime and Law Enforcement. We're looking forward to some good stuff here. So we started out in the lobby. There are four floors to this thing. Uh, we went to the top floor first and worked our way down. Uh, there are options, lots of interactive stuff where you can sit and watch movies. There are several places on each floor. Uh, I think there's also headphones you can wear that kind of walk you through the museum. But you can take as much time as you want, so that's that's really, really nice. And it covers so many areas. Prohibition, as you can see here, lots of booze bottles and slot machines because the mob was big in you know, booze during Prohibition and also gambling. Great way to launder money and run the casinos. There's been a lot of movies. Of course, the movie Casino was big on that. And there's lots of features on that movie in the museum as well. St. Valentine's Day Massacre, of course, big time in Chicago. And they have the actual wall. The, the building where that happened isn't there anymore. And they tore the, that part down brick by brick. And the Mob Museum has the actual wall with bloodstains on it and everything. There's uh, not old Sparky, but just an electric chair, which is a, <laughs> a pretty weird to sit in. And not real comfortable, but I guess it doesn't have to be, does it? They got a big wall on all of Hollywood, all the great movies that really taught people what the mob was like. James Caan there from uh, Sonny in The Godfather. I didn't realize there were that many movies, but they have a big Hollywood wall that includes my favorite mob character, Vincent Antonelli, Vinny, a.k.a. Todd Wilkinson from My Blue Heaven. One of the great characters ever. Down in the basement, you got the distillery. They show how stuff was made in Prohibition, and they still make it. They make moonshine down there. You can do some samples. We did that, and then step next door to the speakeasy for a drink. All right, so we did manage to get this at the Mob Museum. The Henry Hill Wise Guy Cookbook. So lots of Henry Hill approved Italian recipes coming soon. <coughs> So now we're at the underground at the distillery area of the Mob Museum. We had to have the password to get in. The old fashioned. They bring it to you with nothing in it. You gotta open the book. And there it is. Shaken and chilled. This is the one they talk about. Garnished with a blueberry, that's a little different. That is a fine old fashioned. Different than I'm used to. They're very tasty. 